I think the role of credible science is now most important than ever. Um, we are in 2019. Europe has been doing a lot for research and citizens. It's good to break this uh, wall between us. The biggest challenge to be addressed is the lack of communication or uh, a lack of clarity between a politician and a scientist. GRC contributed hugely to make our policy making processes more sophisticated. Artificial intelligence and robotics has the potential not just to change our lives, but to improve them enormously. And Europe, the European Union, has a choice. We can either embrace it wholeheartedly, or if we don't, if we're defensive, that technology will happen without us. I don't think uh, uh, political decision-making is at all uh, uh, up to the challenge. We don't clearly see who actually has a say when decisions are made. So that's why I would emphasize transparency of decision-making in a way towards a more resilient, to more responsive uh, system. For scientists, resilience has a meaning. It's a characteristic of a system, which is the ability of the system to recover and adapt to a shock coming from outside. For policymakers, they probably have as many definitions as they have policies. Resilience is what you need to react to that, to adapt to it, and hopefully to come out stronger on the other side. Resilience can't just be left to the individual. It's a societal responsibility. I think that there is a traditional playbook which says we need to get scientists more out there to speak to parliamentarians. All of that is for the good, but I think there's a deeper challenge right now. A lot of the populists are proudly declaring that they don't trust science and academia. The hope is that perhaps over time, as they see populists failing to deliver on their promises, they might grow to be more skeptical and recognize how empty these promises have historically turned out to be. Over time, um, for the last few decades, there has been a decline in trust in um, most institutions, not just governments. And that is really problematic because a low trust society, a society in which people don't trust each other that much, doesn't work as well as a society with high trust. So we have to understand why that is happening and we have to sort of turn that around. We are going actually to 22 member states and we are organizing 28 different events in, in different places. So there is a lot of appetite in, in the regions, in the capitals of member states, but also there is a lot of appetite here in Brussels in different, uh, different sessions for more interactive engagement. And this is very important lessons to learn. We need uh, constant dialogue between uh, researchers and uh, politicians. And uh, such idea like, uh, like science meet parliaments, or science meet regions, or maybe in the future science meet uh, governments is a great idea.